My name is uh, Fred Vogue. Uh, we live here in Preble County. I have a daughter and a son-in-law, Austin and Lindsey Cole. They have a two and a half children. Over the years, I watched a couple grandfathers. I also watched my dad. And uh, their main goals in life was to make the farm better, better than what it was when they got it. And they certainly left the farms better. And uh, that's pretty much my goal also. My farms I've purchased from outside of the family. I don't have any of the family farms. And uh, so I'm trying to improve and make these farms the fertile, productive farms that have always been part of, of our family. Our cattle are basically all the breeds, uh, very, very few dairy or dairy cross cattle, primarily Angus, Hereford, Charlotte cross cattle. In addition to that, the last few years I've, I've fed some Wagyu cattle. I've been part of Secura Farms, Ohio Wagyu program, and I've learned a lot from, from working with these people. When, when we market the cattle that are fed or backgrounded on the farm here, I, I market them all myself. The fat cattle are marketed direct to the packers. The cattle we background, I market them directly to the feedlots in the West. A couple, three, four years ago, I was fortunate enough to uh, receive an EQIP grant to upgrade the cattle facilities on this particular farm. Some of the people from Ohio State were very helpful in designing and laying this whole thing out, especially Dr. Fluarty, some of the guys on the OSU beef team. As we completed the project and, and I saw how much expense I had incurred, and Dr. Fluarty suggested that I consider feeding some of the Wagyu's and participating in that program. And so I, initially I did it just to spread the risk and have a guaranteed income. And then as it all transpired, it was so much more than that. In during that 45 years that, that I've owned this particular farm, I'm fairly proud to say that, that uh, since 1980, there's been no commercial phosphorus supplied on this farm. And uh, a very minute amount of potassium. Uh, yet, when you go have it soil sampled, my fertility is very good, uh, things are in balance. My cation exchange is as good as there is in Preble County. All the farms in the family, you know, one of the big challenges is, is to sustain them for the next generation. Part of sustainability is profitability. So we're trying to walk that tightrope between maintain them from an ecological standpoint, make them productive, yet no pollution, no water contamination, if at all possible, and still maintain profitability. You know, it goes back to those grandfathers they left the farms the way they should be left for that next generation. 